Today, we're gonna go from drab to fab. Wow. I feel good today. Today, we're gonna talk about four tips that can transform your home from drab to fab. Fab meaning fabulous. I guess that's like a cool word now. Anyway, number one, paint, right? So a couple years ago, we were moving out of a small two bedroom house built in the 60s. We were gonna rent the property and the house had this yellow beige wall colored walls. I mean, it was ugly as hell. So we decided to go ahead and paint in a light neutral gray. We repainted the baseboards white, painted the doors white, and it literally transformed the house, put it on the rental market, and it rented within hours. People don't wanna go move into a rental. That, like if it, this house was built in the 60s, that paint made it look like at least felt the 80s, right? Like that makes a big difference when people are going in there. Plus, who has furniture that matches like a ugly ass yellow beige? No, people have like the, the newer colors, the colors, the light grays, the whites, you know, the things that are trending. So that it just made total sense to paint the house. The second thing you could do to update your home on a, on a small budget is update your light fixtures, right? If you've got light fixtures from when the home was built in the 70s, right? Those probably are not still in like trending right now. So we update your light fixtures to something new, something modern looking, something with an LED bulb so it has the most maximum amount of lights. So you could actually, you know, see better in your home. The third thing you can do to update your home is change out your light switches. I know it sounds stupid, but like, those old like flip light switches, you know, they have these things now with like a toggle button, you know, it looks like kind of updated. You can also change out your doorknobs, right? So you, if you've got an old gold doorknob, like yeah, gold I know is coming back in, but like I'm talking like gold from the 70s, like tarnished and like the falling off there, like, get rid of those. Also, when you do that, don't forget to change out the hinges. I've been in many houses before where they've changed out the handles, but they left the hinges that were gold. Like, come on. It takes an extra 15 minutes per door to go ahead and knock that out, right? Also the faucets, you know, changing out the faucets in, in your, you know, you don't necessarily have to spend all the money and change out the countertops if it's in good condition, but just changing out the faucet itself, for one, like, some of those old faucets are gross. Like those old handles, like just, I mean, you feel like you're going into like a 70s porn movie. Can you put that in there? Can we leave that? Like, yes, you're using it to wash your hands, but like, think about it. Like they're gross. Like somebody else's toothpaste has been spit all over that for years and years and years. This is like, this is a whole nother video. This whole rant is now gonna be about nastiness. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I know I'm really off topic here with this with the sink thing, but like this nastiness, the other nasty that's in people's houses is your baseboards. Like, I don't know how many houses I've been through, like people never clean their baseboards, like the top of them. Me, myself, I like like a six inch uh, baseboard flat without like the beveled edge on the top. The only problem with it is it's a dust collector at the top, but it's nice and easy to clean. You just take a little towel, run it down the, down the side there, and it cleans it right up. But I've been through houses before that like literally you needed a shop vac and maybe even like a wood chisel to get the dust off these things. Like it's disgusting. The fourth thing you can do to kind of modernize or update your home is adding some smart home devices and hook them all up to Alexa. For example, like a ring doorbell, ring security system, keyless door entry, and even like they have these Alexa plugs that you can plug in and basically tell Alexa what to do. So right now we've just recently put those plugs in and we're able to say, Alexa, turn on Christmas lights. Okay. And guess what? My exterior Christmas lights will turn on automatically. I don't have to go outside and plug them in. I don't have to flip a switch on the wall. I can just talk to Alexa. We also have one hooked up to our Christmas tree. Hey Alexa, turn on Christmas tree and boom, there comes the Christmas tree lights.